Hello there. This is my old uh, Allen Scythe. It's one of two that I've got at the moment. This one's got an 11C Villiers engine. I've got the flywheel cowling removed, but it goes up over the engine and down over the flywheel. I'll put it back on later on, but I'm going to have a look at setting the points, setting the timing rather on the uh, on the flywheel. So when I opened up the when I opened up the choke, it started backfiring through the carburetor. I wasn't expecting that. Last time I had it going, last night, it was pumping out flames out through the exhaust, shooting flames out that way. I haven't adjusted the timing since then. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. When I was looking at the timing on it, setting it up. On the big flywheel, there's a timing arrow. Just like that there. It's pretty much, it's got a little arrow head on it. And inside, inside here, I'll put a photo on top of this. Right inside, from the end of that crankshaft in there, there's a mark, I think it's at about three o'clock there but I can't see so what I think is happening is the flywheel is not tight enough on its not tight enough on the um, on the shaft so I'll give it another I'll, I'll take it off put it back on again where I think it's right get it off put a screwdriver in between the blades of the fan some people don't like that way works for me put a socket in onto the flywheel nut and this nut is imprisoned in the flywheel so it's a bit too loose actually maybe that's why it was not right but it's, it's imprisoned on the flywheel so if you loosen it then it gets tight again and then you gotta carefully work through and it pops itself off it off completely. Give you a look at what it's like in here. So it pulls itself off. I don't think that was on tight enough. I'd say that's what was going on there. This is the inside of the flywheel. This little brass strip here is the governor. So it springs out. Just see if I push up my finger when it goes really fast, it springs out and it knocks off the points. So that's your dwell spot there on the cam. Just there. And that's the cam that follows, that the cam follower for the points follows. And that little screw holds on the brass strip that's the governor. It's all one piece unit. You can't, uh, you can take it apart, but I wouldn't want to put it back together again. And this here is the magneto end, so that's the crankshaft, you can see how the threads are pretty much knackered, that face that I'm touching here is flat, that bit there is all screwed up, but it does get a grip, 
There's a bit of end play in that. That's your coil, it's working fine obviously because the engine works away. In here is your points, to get that off. There's your points. One of these cables comes from the coil, the other one comes from the condenser which is underneath behind these points. I cleaned up the points there a couple of nights ago with uh, just a bit of emery paper in between it. Rub the emery paper in and out a few times. And then get a piece of clean paper, a bit of cardboard or something, just put it in, clean off any dust. That's the cam follower there, so it follows the cam. And that's it. So, now I said on the end of this crankshaft, there's a little mark. There it is there. You can see it, it's, it's, it's punched into it. So it's at 9 o'clock there. If I line the arrow up on the flywheel to 9 o'clock, we should get it all together. There's the arrow on the flywheel. First things first. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of got a bit of grease on the inside of that. It's not gonna help me at all, so I'll clean that off. I think that it's probably a bad seal off that engine. That's because it looks like there's a bit of petrol mixture in here. That's not going to help. There's a little grass bush there, and I'd say that's leaking out of there. There's a little drain hole just below it. It's clear. So it says this should be perfectly clean in the manual. Couldn't find an 11C manual on the internet anywhere, but I managed to find an old Villiers motorbikes, single cylinder motorbike engines manual. It looks like it was copied out of a newspaper or out of a, out of a magazine or something. It does the job, it's told me how to, how to align those points, how to time it up. So let's go for perfectly. So, we're going for 9 o'clock. There's my arrow. Offer it up. I've got to put it on real gently. Feel for the thread. Even though it's knackered, it still isn't good enough thread to bite it up. It's about there at 9 o'clock. Feel it coming on. When you're screwing in this, this captive nut, there's a point where when you're screwing it in, it still allows it still allows the flywheel to spin on the shaft without affecting the crank. So you've still got a bit of time when you put it on to play with it, but then once it nips it, it nips it up good. So I've got a flash lamp this time and in all the pulling and shoving I've taken it on and off again, the flywheel crankshaft on the flywheel inside has moved around that's the top of my torch there. You can see if it refocuses a few times. Is that about just after three o'clock? The little mark on the end of that crank inside that nook there. And over here, I've moved the arrow round to that side just after three o'clock. So that lines up with that mark. I'm going to pull it on a little bit more. With the, with the line and the arrow all marked up so I'll try and nip it up again and I'll check it again then I've had another go this time my arrow's down here 9 o'clock difficult to see, you can just about see it if you look at 9 o'clock on the end of the crankshaft so I'm hoping now Fuel's still on and all, it should just fire up. I can put the cowling back on.
that time I turned it off myself. It all seems to be much sweeter, a bit quieter somehow or something. Running okay anyways. I'm gonna take another look in at these timing marks. Just get my torch. So now, timing mark is down here. So we're looking at about seven o'clock. If we get a look in, I can see that it's pretty much bang on where it should be. You can see it, maybe. Yeah, there you go, bang on about 7 o'clock, maybe a little bit late, but I'm going to knock it up for now because I'm quite happy with that. It's running okay. So we'll put it all back together and I'm going to see if it'll start. The fuel on. Choke closed. Throttle open. It's a cold start.